Hey friends, welcome back. Today we are cooking and decorating our Christmas tree. So if you guys wanna see this super easy, very delicious keto dinner idea, or if you just you know wanna see a good meal idea, stay tuned. And if you wanna spend a Saturday night with me and my fam decorating our Christmas tree, we will love to have you. So let's get to it. Then you know it's Christmas. Cause Santa's on his way. Before I started decorating the tree, Leo was going to be on his way home from work and I was about to get ready and I was short on time so I decided to go ahead and pull out one of my Green Chef meals. You guys, if you have not seen this before, you need this in your life. So Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company. Meal plans include paleo, I got it this time, plant-powered, vegan, vegetarian, keto, balanced living, and family. So there's something for everyone. All the food is so good. I mean, seriously, if they could just sell me all their sauces and spices, I would be a happy person. But the great thing about Green Chef is it lets you choose from a wide array of easy to follow lifestyle with select organic ingredients. So as you see in my little brown bag, they have all the little veggies in there. Everything is great quality, super fresh. Nothing is ever bad. And it's just so easy. Like I was explaining this to my mom and she's like, wait, what? Everything's there? Yes, mom. So now she needs to get on it because look, you could just tell it's great quality and everything was super, super tasty. I like it too because they send these little recipe cards and the recipe cards have not only instructions, but they have pictures. And sometimes I find like with making certain recipes, I like don't really understand when they say like cut it like this or, you know, cook it so it looks like this. It's literally instructions and then a picture. So you're like, oh, I got it. So it's super easy. You know, you're able to enjoy clean ingredients. You can trust seasonally sourced for peak freshness. Um, I would never have honestly picked up some collard greens. Those wonderful looking little veggies right there with some fresh collard greens. I think I've cooked with them maybe once in my life. And I love that these recipes, they like allow you to step outside the box and make recipes you never would have thought before. This one, like my gosh so this pork tenderloin i just fried it up in this little cast iron and it was so freaking good like it was the most tender i hate to say juicy um piece of meat it was so freaking good and then they had to saute up the veggies and honestly all i really seasoned them with other than the little seasoning packet came with was salt and pepper and it was amazing so Green Chef really makes achieving your goals easy with dinner options. That way the work, this way it works around your lifestyle and not the other way around. So as you can see, it was super easy. Look at all the color. This sauce that you're gonna put on top of this pork loin, oh my God, like it was so good. It was so freaking good. If you guys were interested in getting your hands on a Green Chef box, I have a $80 off coupon. So if you go to Green Chef, dot us backslash d diaries 80 and use the promo code d diaries 80 you go ahead and save yourself some money so don't forget to check them out it's going to be great for the holidays guys i promise you know we're going to be so busy and sometimes you just forget to pull out something and you forget and you can't think of an idea well here you go they did it for you so yeah let's uh get to decorating this tree and because the kids i promise you probably bugged me about 15 times during this uh, video to decorate the tree. So here we go. Let's get to decorating. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All so here is my beautiful tree. Isn't she pretty? It is a, I want to say a Douglas fir and I want to say it's seven foot tall and it is pre-lit and it is absolutely gorgeous so this is a king of christmas tree they did give me a discount code for you guys so you guys can go ahead and get 10 percent off but um i didn't want to do like a flocked tree i know everybody does those and you know we ain't like everybody else around here but i did want white lights i've always wanted white lights on a tree and i've always wanted one of these super full beautiful trees and oh my gosh this guy is gorgeous um so I went ahead and I pulled it out last weekend and I just fluffed it. When it first came out the box, I was like, oh, oh, 
but once you fluff it and everything guys it's absolutely gorgeous what i do like about it too is it has one of these things which you know if you ever seen like uh the christmas story and there's like a million cords back there that's like real life around here but you just step on it and it does like a dimming or you can like just make it a little bit dimmer and completely turn it off and yeah so you can see like it's really really nice so it is a really pretty tree but yeah so the kids are on their way home and we're going to decorate the tree today and i'm going to put some of this on there um, i've watched a couple youtube videos on how to do it um, i'm gonna do like these little things first before the girls come and put their ornaments on but yeah so i'm gonna do this and then i'm also going to do um these toppers as well so let's uh get started and get it going but yeah well the kids are gonna put on all the ornaments but all this like foofy stuff you know that's mom work right there so all right hopefully i can do this um the way i'm going to do it they gave me two options one with like ties and then another one just with like bending it into the branch so let's see hopefully i can do this Okay, so here is the ribbon detail. Honestly, I don't like it. I'm not a fan. I see people do it, and I was like, oh, okay. But I think it's really taken away from the tree. Hmm, so I think, I don't know. I have red velvet ribbon downstairs. I might use that instead, but I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna do this. But it's pretty. I mean, here's the rest of it on the floor. But, I mean, I could make stuff out of it. I don't know. I just, I've never been one for like these foofy trees and I just was trying to have a Pinterest tree this year. And I'm gonna like, look, I'm playing myself. I need to stop. So I think I, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'll do a couple more pieces. Hmm. I don't know, this is, this is one of those hard things. Well, I'm gonna take it down, I'll add everything, and if I want it back, I could always add it back, right? Let's just do that, so let's take it down. Okay, so here are some of the toppers I'm gonna go ahead and assemble. Again, this is the first time me being this like real bougie princess, uh, this stuff is difficult. I see these girls doing these trees on YouTube all the time, like those big YouTubers, and I'm like, oh, that's nice, that looks so easy. And then you try to do it and you're like, well, damn, that's not that easy. Okay, but I'm gonna try. So, but these are the ones, we got little marshmallows and candies and stuff like that, so yeah. And the kids are moving the chairs, making it extremely loud. But all right, let's go ahead and assemble these and I got some other stuff to kind of stick in there. So, all right, let's go. Okay, so let me get up here and show you my, because I was getting fed up, guys. We were about to say F it all, I, 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 my patience. So um, I added some of these little like pick things I bought, you guys would have seen in the haul, 
and then it just looks it looks really cute I'm I mean I'm sure there's people out there who would probably credit critique it please don't um but this is my first time ever trying to do it I'm probably gonna stick this one down a little bit more because I feel like you could see it Ooh, I'm gonna fall on this thing here I'm just gonna probably stick this down just a little bit and then bring that up so you can't see but so much fun so much fun la, 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 la. okay now you're gonna downstairs and get all the other stuff but i'm excited for this so far so good all right so i brought up this is like my bin i have a lot oh, oh, oh. so here's my bin full of all my christmas stuff here this was all like the stuff i used last year but i'm not using this year um there's like the lights and all that stuff so but look what i found in here i have this ribbon i might actually stick in there i have this is what i used last year some more of what i used i found one more too i got so much stuff guys oh look my sophie and then i found these my mom gave me those a few years ago um i have one more thing of ribbon in here Oh, right here. So I think I might actually stick this in there too. So I might I'm waiting for Rhea to get home. So I'm just putting on the stuff. Like the kids always like to do the ornaments, but I got these things. So I'm gonna hang these on there. And then I also have the Santa marching band that needs to go on there and that's kind of heavy. So I'm gonna hang up those things. And then when the kids get home, they can put up, these are all our ornaments. This is how like we keep them on. So like some of them that they made. Hold on. So some they made, we bought like, the princesses and that was mine. Dunkin' Donuts and they have their names on it. It's Rebecca's. So be careful though, and like I have a lot. I always get them like their first Christmas. This and was then, mine. Here's a deep for Danielle. Wait, it wants to be out? Lots and lots. So we'll uh, put all those on when the kids get home. They like to do that. So this little tedious stuff they don't like to do.
She's talking on the phone I make you feel at home Oh, when I got you by my side What a night 